All right, guys. So, Bob, new year, what do you think? Uh, it's, well, as you can see, it is a cloudless sky. There are no clouds on the Ticats horizon. We, we've got a great stadium up in Guelph. Uh, the, the whole city of Guelph is, uh, has embraced us in a way that none of us expected. So it, it's so exciting. Uh, and we have a spectacular new stadium coming in a year from now. So, and we got a team that's going to win the Grey Cup this year. So uh, how can things be any better? Bob, I hate to bring this up, but you've said that the last four years I've been here, that you're going to win the Grey Cup. Uh, did, uh, you're, but you're sticking and to it. And we should have. We should have <laughs> won that. We came so close. We were this close to winning the Grey Cup last year. Bob, with all the changes, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, the single thing I'm most looking forward to, because as you know, I'm a Hamiltonian, and I'm a very proud Hamiltonian. Uh, the new stadium is not only going to do very good things for our team, it's going to do very good things for this city. Uh, if only because we put our city on national television for four hours every game, and uh, it's going to transform the outside world's impression of the city of Hamilton. Uh, plus. It's going to uh, improve the economics of this team. Uh, yeah, things are looking very, very healthy for this organization. Well, interesting that you say that. I mean, there's a new television contract from TSN kicking in next year. You have a new stadium on the way. You've talked a lot about the long-term economic stability of this franchise. Are you there? Uh, we're not there because the stadium is still not much more than a hole in the ground. Uh, but uh, ask me that question again 12 months from now and you'll get a, a, a more definitive answer. Yeah. Are you, but I mean, can you see the light at the end oh, of the yes, tunnel, I guess? Yes, yes, and it's not an oncoming train. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that much, at least financially. As your, your, your skepticism about my ability to project the success of our football team, uh, hard to argue with that one, but uh, you'll have been very aware of my caution on predicting our financial success and, and the economic model of this team. And when you get right down to it, you know, as a 12-year-old, I, I recognized that I had two left feet and no, I wasn't going to be the next Bernie Filoni or Hal Patterson. Uh, but it, it's been very uh, rewarding for me to actually make a contribution to this team on the business side because that's what I've been trained to do. Uh, and that's exactly right. This is... Uh, uh, very, very good things are happening to this organization financially only 12 months from now. One more from Bob, guys. You've uh, obviously gone through some ups and downs in your ownership time. Are you still enjoying uh, owning the Ticats and can you see yourself doing it for... How can you not enjoy being involved with the Ticats? Yeah, the, the guys like Vince, one of our volunteers who comes out every spring and helps us uh, has been doing it for 18 years for no money purely because this is about as much fun as grown men can have uh, So yeah, is the short answer I'll kind of squeeze one more yeah. In terms of naming rights for the new stadium, where do you stand? Uh, I delegated that to very talented guys who are working very hard on it On behalf of the Ticats and the city, as you know, we've made a huge commitment to the city uh, on the naming rights deal and uh, we are optimistic we will get uh, a, a great deal done, but uh, no, no news. Will it be, uh, will it be called uh, Bob Young Field? <laughs> that, that would be very bad news <laughs> if it ends up being called Bob Young Field. All right, guys, thanks. thanks. Bob.